I forgot to film an intro, so that's great. Do I just get lipstick on this top? I swear to God, if I've got lipstick on this top, I'm going to like die. Hi guys, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an affordable kind of mostly drugstore prom makeup tutorial for you guys because I have my prom this year and so do a lot of other people and I thought because makeup artists do cost a lot of money to hire for like one night, I thought I'd do a little tutorial for you that's mostly drugstore just to say that you can get high-end makeup looks with cheap products as long as you just know what you're doing with them and how to apply them properly which I'm not saying I'm a makeup artist or anything I just kind of like I wear makeup quite a lot like this if you would like to find out how I got this makeup then let's get on with the video this is just for the look right here like the cat ears this is just a look so to start off with the eye makeup, um, I've got tape on my eyes because if you watch my previous videos you'll know that I can't do eye makeup or any makeup really without tape if I'm doing liner so that's there but to start off I'm going to be taking this, this shade here because it just defines my crease. a bit more I'm going to take the orange shade which is just a bit below and this is one here so yeah this one I'm going to take this and just focus this more precisely in my crease not as messily just to warm it up a little bit I think going into my Morphe 35T I'm going to take what colour should I use this is great because I don't even know what colour I'm going to use yet. Um, I'll take this shade here and just focus this more in my outer V. And the only thing is with Morphe mattes, they tend to not blend out as well as they could. I forgot my mirror. Yeah, they tend to not blend out, oh god, as well as they could do. But I'm still going to use it. bit through my crease just to give it a bit more dimension but not like a crap ton through my crease then on a cleaner brush I'm just going to take this one here it's like a little flat shade brush I'm going to take what colour should I use I'm going to take this shade here and put this on the oh god you can't even see this shade here and just put this one on the outer V this one yeah darker than I'd anticipated for but you know what I'm really gonna work with it then on my finger I'm gonna take this shade here because it's kind of like a um, plain shimmer kind of shade so I'm just gonna take this on my finger and just put this over my crew or my um, lid and these ones I don't know about some of the other ones in the palette but this one is like a texturized kind of shimmer it feels really weird then taking my crease or the brushes to my crease, I'm just going to blend everything all out and together because harsh lines are not good. Eyeliner, I'm going to be using my this Maybelline, yeah, my Maybelline gel eyeliner in black, and this is what can either literally just make or break this. So yeah, but I'm only going to do a thin wing. Fingers crossed, just always ends up however but I'm gonna try to do a thin wing and if that doesn't work then god help me. About 500 years later I'm done and um, I don't know if you guys can see but like it messed up here because the tape I'm just gonna go and sort out and I do my foundation but to start I'm going to see if I can find the right stuff. Colour correct my actually no I'm going to prime first with the Maybelline baby skin primer because I have really textured skin and some ways I guess that's good but other ways it's bad and plus my pores show really big so I've got to cover them up. <laughs> I already moisturised my face, I use this um, double base gel stuff that I got off my granddad because he gets it prescribed from the doctors and because my skin went through a phase of being really dry I asked him if I could have some of that because he has like loads of it. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I moisturise my face with because I get really dry skin sometimes. And with the powder I'm going to be using, it's good to add some moisture back into your skin before, otherwise you get really bad flashback. Now that my skin is primed, I'm going to colour correct my face with the Freedom um, Pro Camouflage and Correct Cream in green. This just helps counteract any redness, like I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got like really bad redness and scarring around my chin area, because that's where I get really oily, so I'm just going to take some of this on my new look, I think this is their concealer brush, I'm not 100% sure, and just put this over where I get most redness. And also, if you are doing this makeup for like actual prom, I would use um, a primer that has glycerin in it because that will make your skin more tacky and make makeup stick to it better really. So if you want your makeup to last all night for an event like prom, then I'd use glycerin or um, the Nivea Post Shave Balm works quite well and I know um, Soap and Glory have a moisturiser that, um, can you guys hear that? Yeah, I know Soap and Glory have a moisturiser that um, has glitter in it as well because Soap does nails, uses that. And I think my mum has that actually as well. For foundation, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation in the shade Porcelain because this is the only drugstore foundation that matches me and I'm going to try and make this as much drugstore as I can really or it'll be affordable. And my camera is flashing, yay. And I'm just going to blend this with my Beauty Blender. And I'm not putting any of the foundation like underneath my eyes yet because I'm going to use concealer and that will make it crease more. So yeah, I don't really put foundation under my eyes if I'm going to be wearing concealer. I'm going to be using the Collection Last Imperfection in the shade Fair, although this is a little bit too dark for me. This works okay. And I'm just going to be doing triangles underneath my eyes to make my face look more lifted, I guess. That's what they say anyway. I've been doing a lot more recently is taking a stippling brush and just blending everything together more I guess and it just helps create more of an airbrushed finish to your foundation so I just go around and basically swirl this all over my face and if you're going to prom as well you're gonna want real looking skin or like high coverage foundation and I think this just helps add that And it also just works it into your skin more so you don't get like any streaks. To powder my face, I'm going to be using the MUA um, Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder. And this is just a transparent powder, I don't know if you can see. Um, but yeah, because this is literally silica, some people say that it has really bad flashback. I find that if you have more moisture in your skin, because that is what it is, silica just absorbs to moisture, it won't stick to your skin. Or it won't create a flashback and I'm going to get this everywhere I can tell. Yeah you literally only need the tiniest little bit because it, it will literally just mattify your face like I've only got the tiniest bit there I don't know if you can see. Um, yeah I'm just going to take this all over my face with a Real Techniques powder brush and just powder my face with it. And if you want to bake then you can but I can't bake to put it simple. I used this powder yesterday and I spilled it near enough all over my room at my dad's house. And I don't know if you can see, but it creates like a white cloud of smoke when you use it, or like powder, whatever you want to call it. And it was like that, the whole tub near enough fell out. <laughs> so that was really fun. And I shared, a room, or I shared a room that day with my brother and my stepsister, and they weren't happy with it, let's just say that. To contour my face, I'm going to be using Benefit Hula Bronzer, um, if you watch my videos frequently you'll know that basically my face routine makeup is near enough the same the whole time. This is the only stuff that I use that actually kind of contours my face, so I'm just going to do this now. And I want to give myself a jawline because me and my family of chins aren't welcome at prom. <laughs> And just like that you can kind of see a difference, like this side of my face, I feel like more contoured, you can see my cheekbone and like, I don't know, it just 
I'd feel more comfortable contouring, but I don't want to contour too much, and that's what I'm always scared of. Over contouring, like looking drag, like there's nothing wrong with looking drag, I feel, but like I don't really want to look drag at my prom. Now, I'm not normally a blush kind of girl, but I will admit, I do want to add a bit more colour back into my face because that powder tends to make me look really pale. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Sleep Blush in Rose Gold and it just looks like this and it's a dupe for Nars Orgasm, which is really good because, again, drugstore. Oh crap, that bronzer wasn't drugstore. Oh well. Sorry if I feel like, or if you feel that I'm rushing this, it's because my camera is literally flashing red and it has been since I've been on my foundation and I'm trying to do it as quick as I can so it doesn't die because otherwise I'd have to stop my makeup halfway through and it never works out well when I do that. For highlighter I'm going to be using my iHeart Makeup Goddess of Love highlight, Highlighter highlighter, and it just looks like this and this is honestly the prettiest highlighter I have ever owned. Um, See, I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones and blow it all up. And as well, this is buildable. So if you're like me and you like highlight a lot, you can go home with this. I don't want to keep it dry because I have tiny lips. And I also dab a bit on my chin and my forehead because I do get a little bit dry throughout the day. But I just comb through my brows with a little spoolie, like a disposable one. Um, but for my brows, I'm going to be using the Freedom Brow Made in the shade Blonde. Mine is disgusting, it just looks like this, but this is just basically a cheaper version of the Anastasia one. And I think this is like, what, four or five pounds, so it's really affordable from Superdrug. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go off camera and do this because I feel like it's gonna take me forever and I don't wanna throw out my camera battery even more, so. Yeah, BRB again. <laughs> so, eyebrows are now done. Um, yeah, I just used the Freedom Brow Made, like I said, and then I went and set them with the Benefit Ready Set Brow Gel, um, because it's the only brow gel I have, really. Um, so yeah, and then I also went and curled my lashes, and I'm going to apply falsies, so that's why I've kind of left it till the last minute, and sorry for that noise, I was just sorting out my mascara. But for mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, because why not? This is like really really good for both of like me and YouTube because I could wear this makeup for prom although I most likely won't because I'm scared that the colours might clash with my dress but at the same time it gives me practice and it gives you guys ideas so we're both winners really um, but yeah, the lashes I'm using are the Ardell Wispies in 601. I've already taken one off to put on, but um, yeah, they are really big. And I didn't realise how big they were, but I have no other lashes. But I could use the Demi Wispies, I guess. Um, but yeah, the super drug I went to didn't have them because it was a crap super drug. <laughs> I needed lashes, so I picked up the first ones I saw. Although I've heard that super drugs own ones are quite good. I just honestly haven't got around to trying them yet. Yeah, I use black lash glue for anyone wondering because whenever I use the clear one, it never dries clear. See, I just gave up and just used the um, black glue and I'm just gonna wait for it to go tacky. I'm gonna go off camera and put the second one on. I thought my camera died, but it's all good. So I put the lashes on and I put this one a bit too far that way, but just gonna have to do. For my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Benefit They're Real because this is a really small brush and it's just good for getting bottom lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So my camera died, <laughs> just as I'd gone on to do my bottom lash mascara the camera literally went dead so I was like yay um but yeah I, I, I was literally about to start doing my lipstick and then I forgot that I haven't got it so I'm just gonna go and get that okay so I've got my lips off um but yeah for lips I'm going to be doing a combo and 
shovel back a little bit. I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Arden Lip Liner in Plum Rose 07. This is literally the only lip liner I have. Um, but yeah, it just looks like this. And then I'm going to be using the Collection Velvet Kiss um, Lip Cream in the shade Caramel 2. Because these, these kind of dry down to matte, but they're not completely matte, which is really, really good. Because mattes tend to like dry out my lips and they go really like dry and they're not nice. So something that feels comfortable on my lips is going to be really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use this and the lip liner and I'm going to slightly overline my lips as well and I'll show you how I do that. I always overline is like the bit in the middle and the bit at the bottom of my lip and then I just keep the sides at the same but otherwise your lips don't join properly and it just looks really weird. overline my lips and then I'm just going to go and fill it in with the um, lip cream stuff and this just has a dough for applicator and it just goes on so nicely. Boom. So this is the finished makeup tutorial or makeup look. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and obviously this look isn't going to suit everyone. I mean I probably won't wear this eye look because it will most likely clash with my dress which I'm getting on Wednesday. <laughs> obviously this look won't suit everyone. I mean like I'm really fair and pale so I kind of like toned everything to match me. Um, if you've got like darker skin tones then do whatever matches you and whatever you feel comfortable with because it is your prom and you don't want to feel like you like have to do this or that just do whatever you feel comfortable with and whatever you want to wear because you only get one prom so yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to leave a big thumbs up so know that you did leave a comment down below when your prom is or if you have your prom or if you're doing your own prom makeup because i know quite a few people are doing that because makeup like artists do cost a lot of money and sometimes you can't get it right and if you do your own makeup you're kind of more comfortable with what you like and stuff like that. Leave a comment down below when your prom is and if you're going to prom and don't forget to subscribe because that would really help me out and I will see you all next time. Bye!